Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite person on YouTube, Jason Matuk, and I'm here with another luxury home tour. Today, I brought you to Boca Raton. You can hear the beautiful birds chirping on the sunny South Florida today, and I'm gonna be showing you this six bedroom, six bathroom, three powder room, 9,622 square feet interior with a total square footage of 13,183 square feet. This house was built in 2018, and it's asking $10.5 million. And before we get started on the tour, I just want to give a special thank you to Enrique, the listing agent, for allowing us to do this tour. And on that note, just follow me up. Let's get started. So coming up the driveway, you have a four and a half car garage, two cars on each side, plus the half, throw a golf cart in there, why not? The landscaping around this property is also really impressive. It's just very lush and exciting. And then as you walk up, you have a nice roundabout that meets us back in the middle. Another note about this community that I wanna mention is there is a mandatory membership fee. It's about $95,000 when you first come in and then you have to pay $2,500 a month to the association. But what you get in here is incredible. I'm gonna put more details about it in the description because it's just too much to talk about. Let's continue on as we walk up through the path, heading straight to the front door. These front doors are huge, you know? I'm 5'10 on a good Sunday. Uh, these are 10 foot high doors and you'll see when I open them up how grand it is. Now YouTube, after you. And although this place does not come fully furnished, unless there's an amazing offer, I still wanna talk about it because this could be the kind of vibe that you have when you live here. Look at the art on the walls, even this like, 3D kind of crazy looking thing. Every time you move, it just transitions. I know my mom's gonna make a comment about this rug. It's beautiful. And then from the front door, you walk straight into the most inviting sitting family room. The art and the furniture are obviously one piece of it. You have these gorgeous coffee tables, the stuff on top of them, the plants around us, the art on the walls. And then even when you look up, the ceiling is like divided into cubes with recessed lighting. It's so impressive. And before we talk about what's behind me, I wanna show you the office that you have right here. As soon as you walk in, this is perfect if you're an executive working at home. And just down over here, we actually have a guest bedroom. This is the first guest bedroom that we're gonna see. This is perfect on the first floor if you have an in-law or someone that doesn't wanna use the stairs or the elevator, because there is an elevator in here. So let me take that back. You could, this is just great to have a bedroom on the first floor if you want one. You got a nice king size bed, all this space, an insane light fixture at the top, and then its own private ensuite. This place is, this, I could put a fridge in here, I'm moving in. You know what I mean? That's the kind of vibe I'm talking about. You know, and so let's come out of here. Let me show you the fun parts. I mean, sleeping is great. We all love to sleep, but I want to show you we're going to have some fun. This is where you're going to get tired and have to go take a nap. <laughs> come over here, pass some more beautiful art. And this is just kind of like everyone's dream. Also, as I'm walking in on my left, this art is like moving. Are you seeing that? Is it, you can see it on the camera, right? It's crazy. It's like moving as I'm walking. It's just such an interactive piece. So while you're sitting here playing pool with your friends and your family, this art piece is dancing with you, you know? <laughs> it's really cool, I love this. And also while you're sitting and playing pool, you have a view of the pool, a view of the lake, the living room is right over there, and then on my left, we have what could be called Jason's favorite place on earth. This is a walk-in wine room. Look at this. You have all your bottles on the wall, right? You have 120 bottle Sub-Zero wine cooler in here that slides out. You can put your favorite champagne, celebrate when you buy this house, all the good stuff down over here. Once you pick the drink that you want, you select the Hennessy, bring it over here, like so. Up on the top, you get the bartender over here. They have a sink, ice maker, fridge down below, all these cool glasses that you would get and just like make the drink taste better. And then a window behind you so you get some views of outside. Once the drink is made and you're like, Mm, delicious. You come over here and you have just a really cool place to sit down and hang out and just relax, you know? Something that I need to do more often. And so from here, let's actually head down to where the kitchen and the dining room are. Follow me. More art, if I'm not mistaken. Is this like an Andy Warhol style thing, right? With the Campbells and all that. Beautiful. 
into the dining room. Look at this, so elegant. Usually, I'm not a fan when dining rooms have their own space, but Eric, correct me if I'm wrong, this is a great place to have a Thanksgiving, you know? Absolutely. Eric's mom brings out the Italian specialties and we're eating good. The light fixture, the wooden beams across, it's like everything else is modern and this room is very traditional. I love that. And then behind me you have the bamboo, more good vibes getting spewed at you. And then this is access straight to the kitchen. But we're gonna save that for when we get over there. I wanna show you the left side of this place first. So down over here, we have one of the three powder rooms. Look at that sink. Is that a vase or a sink? That's a sink. And then we'll come down a little further. We have your mud room, very cool. And if you wanted some extra storage space, besides what you had in the kitchen, down here you have laundry, another fridge, and more cabinetry. Really cool, and then this is actually access to the front where we came in. So if you have you know, people helping you cleaning up for a party, they can come in and out without walking to the front door. It's pretty useful. And then you, they even have their own service stairs right there to go up to the bedrooms, do the laundry, anything they need, right over there. Super cool. But now let me take you to the kitchen into the kitchen, on my right, you have a giant pantry. Don't make me walk in there, too late you maybe. Look at this, huge. Pots, pans, everything, food behind me. What more do you need in this closet? And then let's come over to here. This is the main kitchen, gorgeous. You have all the best appliances. You have wolf ovens, you have wolf stove, you have a sink over here, sink over there, dishwashers. I love the white quartz in this whole room. Everything is very modern looking and nice. Dual Sub-Zero fridge and freezer. Take a look at these lights above the standalone bar slash table slash island. It can be used for a million things, like four slashes. And then off of the kitchen, a perfect mwah, mwah, breakfast area. I mean, first of all, this table is gorgeous. The plants the light fixture, and the views. But this is just a great place to wake up in the morning, have a little French toast, a little ting, have a nice day, start your day very nice. The pool, the view, once again, amazing. And then as we turn around from the breakfast area, we have the TV room. Watch TV, kick back, no worries, relax. Huge open space, it's like a gallery. It's massive, the amount of space you have in here. And the best part is you also have, as we come down a little bit further, a bathroom. And this is one of the three powder rooms. So now that we've seen most of the first floor, let's actually head outside so I can show you what it has to offer. Follow me. All right, now coming on out, you have these huge pivot doors and you can, you can kind of like keep them open for a party. But the coolest thing is, is that right off when you walk out, you have a really elegant outdoor dining room. Me, I'm a big fan of plants. This is like a new thing that everyone's doing. Every, everywhere there's a white space, there's a green plant. You know what I mean? I'm sure you have one in your shower, like a eucalyptus. You know what I mean? I'm a big fan of that. And then right off of it, like basically a chef's dream outdoor kitchen. You have the Wolf outdoor grill, vent above, a sink, and then even down here, ice and a wine cooler. There's wine coolers on every surface of this house, and I'm not complaining. The best part is, Eric, I don't know if you noticed, I just kind of noticed it with my right eye, is that once you get your food, instead of eating here, you can, you know, come down over here, step down, and there's actually bars, stool, seats in the water. How cool is that? You can put your butt in there, cool off, eat a burger on the shelf. You're basically in heaven. It doesn't get much better than that. And then just up here, a place to sit, lounge, you know, have a cigar, relax while your kids are eating. I mean, this, I'm just paying a beautiful, pay. is this a story? Thank you, Eric, for reminding me, because it was, I don't know how I missed it. If you look up, there is the biggest fan in history above me, a huge fan. And I thought it was just a really breezy area, apparently. It's just this fan, because I feel like there's a hurricane. It's beautiful. I'm really cooled off right now, and I feel like it's about to change when I go out and show you the pool. So follow me down over here. This is like the main pool area. You have the little, you know, shallow area for the children, put some umbrellas over here, and then the big boy side, you know? This huge pool, I love the finish. It's nice and blue. It makes it feel like you're at the ocean. This is also a heated pool for those freezing cold Florida nights. <laughs> and then before we talk a little bit further about over there, just down over here, we have another little outdoor place for you to hang out. This is just off of the living room. So if you wanna do some living outside, Boom, you got your table out here, another modern day plant, and then some more seats out here with another modern day plant. This is a Boston fern. 
gorgeous. And then let's actually show you the rest of it. Come down over here. So you have this huge yard, 18,000 square foot lot. Perfect place for a trampoline with the kids. How awesome is that? We all love a trampoline. I haven't been on a trampoline in a long time. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> and then over here, you still have some space. You could stay right over there. There's some loungers, view of the lake going all the way down. And then you got your jacuzzi right over here. So now that I showed you everything with the first floor, let's actually head upstairs so I can show you what's on the second floor. I'll see you up there. All right, so here we are on the second floor, and let's just look over one last time. The light fixture, the lighting around the ceiling, the view, all this glass, the bricks on the wall. This place was designed by someone high above. It's very angelic in here. And so when we walk up these three steps, it takes us into our, like, our upstairs media room. This is a great place for the kids. It's a great place if you wanna have like a man cave or a she shed or just a place to watch a movie up here. It's a nice open concept. I love the beams on the ceiling, TV on the wall. As you can see, there's access to the balcony. So why don't you come out here with me? Come on out. You got these nice hurricane impact windows up here as well as downstairs. But when you come out, you kind of can just like look over, see the water, your beautiful blue pool. That pool is blue like the ocean. And it's just looking over, it's very private and peaceful. No neighbors in sight from where I am putting some loungers. I could see myself out here getting a nice tan. But let's head back inside. Let's continue with the second floor. Follow me. Boom. Like a vacuum seal. Let's cross over. You can see the speakers on the wall for that surround sound. It's amazing. Watch your step when you're coming down. And now we're gonna go look at the guest bedrooms up here. So on my right, we have the first bedroom up here. It's got the bunk bed, it's got its own balcony out over there, and it's got an ensuite personal for this bedroom. And then as we come further down, we have like, honestly, I'm just gonna call this like the, the child's dream. This is amazing. It's like a little playroom. This is like where they have like a homeschool session in here. Really cool, but it is technically a room with a walk-in closet and a full ensuite. And then as we come out of this room, we're gonna go back into this main hallway make a left and we have the guest bedroom again. We have another one over here and I'm gonna take you into this one cause it's a little bigger. You can kind of see the amazing view you get. This is a room for a literal princess. Look at that bed and then the view of the water. You got it again. And the ensuite and full walk-in closet is also exceptional. So let's actually now come back through the house. The final guest suite before the main suite it's just down at that end. You have another guest suite, full on suite with the walk-in. And in between that room and this room, we have like a kitchenette up here with a wine cooler and sink and everything. But now, let me go ahead and show you the main suite. It's pretty sweet. So follow me up these steps as we come in. It's a huge room. This door and this door are access to the closets, unfortunately. For the making of this video, they're locked because there's some pretty expensive stuff in there. Let's look at their bathroom first. So as you come in on my left, you have toilet and bidet, another toilet and bidet, and then you have your dual sink split across, light fixture in the middle, this massive walk-in shower with a window so you can look outside while you're in there. Look at the height of this soak-in tub. Incredible. The thickness of this, this actually is probably one of the most comfortable looking tubs I've seen. And then while you're laying in here, you just got a nice, private, peaceful view looking out onto the water, the two waters. What more do you want? But now let me show you we're gonna sleep at night because once you see, you're not gonna wanna sleep. You're gonna wanna sleep all night. Follow me in through here. Come in. Look at the space you have in here. This bed is a king size bed. It looks like a twin size bed because of the space you have in here. Huge headboard, got all the protection you need for those nighttime activities. And then a nice place to sit down, rest, relax when you wake up. Gorgeous chair, a sitting area right over here next to these beautiful paneled windows looking down to the lake. There's even an office up here if you wanna do some work 
in the bedroom right over here. You've got enough space for two people to do some work. And then the last part of this bedroom that I wanna take you out onto is the balcony. This is a private balcony for the main suite. As you come out, you can see more of the detail of the property, the brick on the wall, these pillars. And uh, I love, I'm a huge fan of like this glass like railing over here. So you don't obstruct the view. And uh, I think that's where we're gonna end it with this gorgeous view over here, standing with the pool behind me, the lake behind me. It doesn't get much better than this here in Boca Raton. I just wanna say thank you for coming on this tour with Eric and I. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to jump that like button beat it and take its wallet and then subscribe and um don't obviously don't forget i love you care about you care about you more than any other youtuber cares about their audience and that's a fact and i'll see you now i'll see you i'll see you at the next one and don't forget to watch our food vlog please start watching the food vlogs i put a lot of time and effort into them it'll be right here okay